Apparently, people hate The Rock now. The Rock just made WrestleMania's most disliked video ever, and through some terrible podcast appearances, oh. a completely out of touch fundraiser, and his reputation as a walking, talking advertisement, the world's fakest celebrity has, for the first time ever, seen a fall in Instagram followers. Wow. But the biggest contributor might be his endless list of lies on everything from his movie earnings to what? fast food consumption. For example, back in 2017, The Rock posted this photo to his Instagram claiming I've never been to in and out before, which didn't seem all that serious until roughly five years later, when in August 2022, he'd post the following video. This is the very first time that I have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries or anything from in and out for that matter. He'd therefore claimed for a second time it was my first ever time eating in and out, yet he might not have been guilty given he'd also said this. Now I've picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine. I've never tried it, so this is a first. That would be until December 2023 when The Rock claimed for a third time he'd had- Okay, this is ridiculous. Like I could expect one time, it's like you forgot you went to a hamburger place. Like I could believe that, right? The guy's busy, there's a lot going on. Like, but uh, yeah, like the first time I'm like, are, are people really canceling this guy? Because he, he, he said he went to a hamburger place for the first time, two times. Like, is this really a big deal? But okay, yeah, now it's happening again. Okay. My first in and out burger experience, yeah. also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before. I didn't know the lingo, didn't know who to pay, where to pay, didn't know shit, before adding some self-congratulatory comments about leaving a massive tip. This led to mainstream media articles and a six minute- that, that is weird. Like, I- I like The Rock. You know, I grew up, you know, it's like, oh, everybody knew The Rock, it's like, he's cool. Like, so I kind of want to defend him, but like, yeah, that is st that's stupid. It, it is, it's weird. Yeah, it is. It is weird. What else do you lie about? Yeah, I... Alien View Penguin Zero video. This is the lying. third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The this... other two videos are still on your Instagram page. Forcing The Rock to change... I just... How do you... Maybe it's a joke? I hope he keeps posting it's his first time. I feel like if he posts that it's his first time going to in and out Burger... At the, like, the eighth or the ninth time, people will start liking it again. Because <laughs> at that point, it'll just be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be funny. His description by adding, My first ever in and out burger experience again. Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot about it. But there was another lie that did way more damage. Yeah, like I don't think that's really a big, like... Like, am I the only person who thinks that it's kind of ridiculous that people are getting mad that he forgot that he maybe like I I just, just what the fuck cares? It's ridiculous, but it's just like everything about it's ridiculous. But we're not. Adam was okay. released in December 2022. Yeah. Where, yet after its theater run ended, Insider published an article reading "Box Office Bust: Black Adam Faces Theatrical Losses." Ooh. The article explained that the film needed to earn around 600 million worldwide to break even. Yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million Minus globally. Million. Now the movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 oh million in God. its theatrical run. Although only three days later, The Rock was saying. The opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 and 72 million. Fact. Also attaching a deadline article which stated that he's not. It's not necessarily a lie because they were talking about in the article its theatrical run, and he could be talking about in terms of the lifespan of the the film entirely. I don't think this is entirely a lie. Defend it? No, I, I, I don't. I think this is, it's just a lie. You think it's just a lie? Okay. Well, let, let's hear, let's hear the rest of it. Defending Rock? Well, I'm not defending the Rock. I'm just saying that I don't, I'm not, def I'm just trying to make sense out of this.
There's some snarking going on oh. out there that Black Adam is poised to lose 50M to 100M, and that is simply just not true. The movie is bound to break even and be in the black. Well, it turns out this article was written with false information that The Rock had personally leaked to the journalist to make his film seem profitable. After 25 years, we finally found out what The Rock is cooking. The books. But the thing that's really cooking his one. reputation is perhaps the cooking itself, as The Rock's long- I, I will say that- I don't know, like, I'm not sure... Nobody knows apart from the real financiers that facilitated the film. Yeah, you've got the marketing, the licensing, the merchandise. Black Adam is a superhero movie, and I bet superhero movies make disproportionately more money on advertising products and toys. Like, I, I, I don't... I, I'm not immediately thinking that this guy's a liar. Because the first article that disproves it was talking about that in specifically the context of its theatrical run. So I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I, I don't hate him yet. I don't, I don't hate him yet. It's been three minutes, I still don't hate him. Best running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. For example, The Rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food. Anywhere between six to well, I would say possible almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was Holy quickly shut shit. down by Greg Doucette. There is no way The Rock burns off enough calories to average six to 8,000 calories a day and look like this. If he actually ate those kind of calories, six to 8,000 a day, he would be 100 pounds overweight. Who went through The Rock's entire daily diet before adding this. He described about 3,000 calories, maybe, but where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded a raw uncut leg workout, which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the rock stature, size and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is there's no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting The Rock's most notable lie of all. Oh, uh, six to eight thousand is actually easy for most people with size. I mean, The Rock is like, what, six four, right? I mean, like, he's not a huge, huge guy. You know, for example, like, if he was like seven foot two, then it would be like, yeah, yeah, that's like way different, right? But like, six three, six four is really not that much different than the average. There's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in oh, hell. Is he lying as about big as the steroids? rock is at 50? On the topic of steroids, Johnson has said he hasn't touched oh, them get since. The fu didn't Alan Richson, like the Reacher guy, didn't he just say, yeah, I did steroids? I don't know why they can't just say this shit. Just say you did steroids. Yeah, there you go, right? Yes. Holy shit. It's not hard, man. He was 18 oh, when he tried bro. them before college. Oh, sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in. Although it's strange to see him only getting bigger, despite now being into his 50s. Thir so that's him at 35. This is him at 51. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think he's probably doing steroids. Yeah, I mean, that se this seems like a steroid situation to me. A bad picture yeah yeah no doubt that's a bad picture and this is him right after a workout so he's gonna look as big as possible yeah there's probably a bit of a difference but still man still eddie hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using i would believe that the rock would be on trt which is testosterone replacement therapy mm -hmm. a very good thing to do it's actually very good for you very healthy for you well joe Rogan yeah, i think that makes sense and i think that 100 percent, right because like he's also 52 so, like, generally guys have their testosterone levels go down over, over the years, and yeah, I mean, 52 for sure. Theorized he was probably using more. You can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not wow. HRT. Which was again echoed by Greg Doucette. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the the kitchen sink. Whatever he can take. Really? I think he's on all of Damn. it and some. You don't get big like that into your 50s compared to your 40s and 30s. Like you see some photos of him in his 30s. He's way bigger and leaner now. This has helped him to earn the following title. The Rock 
is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing solidified Jesus. this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. Jesus, man. And to think all of this started because he lied about going to In-N-Out. Man. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial Joe would say. As mentioned, The Rock tiptoed through the entire episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything, and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting cancelled. Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as... Rock has asked Joe about a hundred questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit and I'm about to fall asleep. The whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. Self. I thought The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N-word incident. Back Which in one? 2022, when Joe posted this iconic video, The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, Great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Looking forward huh? to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you, although his support was met with backlash. Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people, and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word dozens of times, is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people causing- Joe Rogan hates black people? Is that true? I didn't- I never saw him say that. What the hell is this guy talking? This guy's fucking crazy. The Rock said he, he regrets endorsing Biden and the media attacked him. Can we please stop- like, this guy, listen, this guy is not a fucking politician. This guy ran, he was, he was wrestling with other dudes in spandex, and then he makes movies. Who the fuck is paying attention to who The Rock endorses for president? This is the same thing I said about J.K. Rowling. Oh, did you hear what J.K. Rowling said about trans people? No, I fucking didn't. I'll listen whenever she talks about Harry Potter, though. I don't even care. Why the fuck do people care about celebrity endorsements? This is like NPC shit. You underestimate how easy Americans are to manipulate? Yeah, but they're stupid. It shouldn't be everybody else's fault that they're stupid. This idea that Joe Rogan is actually a racist and he's made many racist statements against black people? Get the fuck out of here. This guy needs to take his medication. No, he doesn't. It's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. The Rock to fold instantly. Dear Don Winslow, thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me, showing he'd cave from the smallest bit of criticism. The Rock was the most sanitized, nuded, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one- I think I agree with it. I do. I, I think that here's- I just really hope that after this happens, you know, The Rock used to be the bad guy, right? He was an asshole. Shut up, bitch. And uh, yeah, everything like that. Like, I, he used to be a huge, he was the heel, yeah. He was brutal. And like, I just, I, I hope that he comes back and he just does it again. I hope that after people hate him enough, he just decides, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say what my real opinions on this are. And yeah, I've been in and out burger. Yeah, I do steroids. Yes, Joe Biden's a fucking idiot. And that would solve it. Yeah, mask off with everything. And so, yeah, hopefully a few more of these videos and it might happen. And lose money. Well, I feel like it's going to, he's going to start losing money anyway, right? Because like once people stop believing that you are who you say you are, then people stop caring about what you're doing real opinion. You see he was like the breathing version of Chad GPT in 10 years. The Rock might be physically strong, but clearly has no public backbone, and nothing showed this more comically than his recent Maui controversy. What? After the island was burnt by fires, The Rock and Oprah launched the People's Fund of Maui, contributing $5 million each before asking the public to donate. So we appreciate any support that you can give. What do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. 
the People's Fund of Maui. <laughs> the comments have since been turned off completely, yet they once echoed the sentiment, math ain't mathing with this one. You guys literally have so much money. You can donate it and make it back within a year. Now, The Rock didn't need to respond. His five million- I feel like they gave five million dollars. Didn't they get- so they gave five million dollars? They- wait for it? Okay. The million dollar donation was already extremely generous, yet once again he couldn't handle the backlash and uploaded a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing. When we first launched the fund, there was some backlash and I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now and here's what I have to say about that. I get it and I completely understand and I could have been better. And next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He's basically just a walking business with the whole walking billboard mentality. You know what I think's happening? I think The Rock is actually a huge fucking asshole and a dickhead. And that's how he gets himself into these situations. And he just has a PR person tell him how to get out of the situations. I, d I do. I bet he's probably a huge asshole. Yeah, he's probably super, super, super based, but he just wants to make the money. So he's like, okay, what, what do I have to tell him? I'm educating myself and I care about the people in here and I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, for sure. All right, that's done. That's it. Yeah, I feel like that's what's got to be happening because like, how does this guy get himself into this many situations? You see what I'm saying? Somebody that gets themselves into that many situations is probably an asshole. He needs a new PR guy? Well, no. He needs to stop using a PR guy. Just be an asshole. Becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. He only has one mode, and that's sales mode. For example, he simply had to celebrate his sold-out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out Well, again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly believable. But what about this wholesome video yep. where he pulls up to a tour bus? You guessed it, it's actually an ad. We're building our second distillery, <laughs> and we are the largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored. Man, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I thought it was like just two or three. I'm like, oh, that's not so bad. But then... Yeah, that's a lot. He's farming? Yeah, he is. He's farming. There's nothing wrong with any of the situations he was in. I don't see anything wrong. Well, like, what I'm saying is that... Here's why I think he's an asshole. Is that... I don't think that there's anything wrong with that stuff either. But I think that he's an asshole because he doesn't realize that people would see anything wrong with it. Or sorry, that he doesn't realize that people would see it being a problem because internally he doesn't give a fuck. He thinks it's fine. And so he's having somebody else make the decisions for him because he knows that he's kind of a jackass and he's not going to have the right... Like, cause this is like, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because this is how I am. Is like, I'm speaking like, maybe I'm just projecting, right? I could just be projecting. But like, for me, I am a huge jackass. I'm a huge asshole. And everybody knows this, right? So whenever I get myself into trouble, it will happen all the time. Because I, like, there will be problems that people have with what I say that I didn't even register this being a problem. I didn't, I, I didn't, this didn't even, this didn't even compute to me. I had no idea people would have gotten mad. And now they're getting mad. That's not it. So like, that's the reason why. And the nickname Dwayne the Ad Johnson is therefore perfectly fitting. This combined with everything else has severely wounded his image. However, his recent actions with the WWE have dealt the final blow. On this? the 23rd of January 2024, The Rock became a WWE board member and a voice for what okay. takes place in the show. The Rock ensured the audience, at my core I'm a builder who builds for and serves the people, although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself. Oh. Uh -oh. How much, you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years, although it was hinted that the widely adored Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. Uh -huh. The two had a long-running feud, so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the winner of which normally goes on to Don't face Don't tell me he's getting cancelled over this redneck anime bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me?
Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Champ. Well, after all the hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for The Rock, who had no place in the story. Suspiciously, this was only 10 days after Dwayne became a board member. With That's fair. That's fair. Absolutely. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, no, they're right. No, no. Wrestling fans are right. This is bullshit. That's absolute bullshit, man. Many believing The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. The highlight therefore gained over 700,000 dislikes, being given the title of the most hated WWE move ever, wow. since the highlight is now the WWE's most disliked video. The backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I haven't watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's I gotta say, you know, maybe it worked. You know, he's back to his old ways. He's the heel. Yeah, exactly. It was a bit of, it, you know, he had to break the fourth wall a little bit for it, but yeah. Personal following hasn't been so healthy. Only 12 months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month. Wow. Although through everything discussed in this video, The Rock is now losing fans for the very first time ever. We know I hope the cost that of I hope it keeps happening, and that way, eventually, The Rock just decides, you know what? The Rock, fuck it, just fuck it. I'm just gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna endorse whoever the hell I want to endorse. Yes, obviously I'm doing steroids. I'm 52 fucking years old. No shit. You know, that's it. Yes, Rock did the heel turn. In. Yeah, I want him to have the heel turn in real life. Yeah, go for the villain arc. I mean, again, and, and I think this is fine, right? It's like, it's very clear that like his personal and brand image are like kind of damaged at this point. So it's like, okay, you've got nothing left to lose. Go ahead and do it. That's what I hope happens, man. He made the ultimate sacrifice his own career for the ultimate WWE plot twist. Yeah, I mean, there it is, man. Hit, yeah, he hits rock bottom. There you go. He always played the bad guy in WWF. Yeah, the guy, he was always an asshole. He was always a fucking asshole. It's like, and, and this is how much of an asshole he was. Whenever Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was also an asshole, beat him, everybody was like, thank fucking God. Yes! I remember that. I was in, I was in, uh, I was eight years old. I was in third grade. Yes! Not always? Well, I mean, I think in general, right? That's at least how I remember it. So, yeah, I mean, fuck. Why do you even know if he can cook? I don't know, man. Yeah, do you smell what the rock is cooking? Uh, of course, right? I forgot all about that. John Cena is much more of an asshole than he ever was. Yeah, but John Cena is a really great guy. John Cena's fulfilled more Make-A-Wish uh, requests than any other person in the world, as far as I know. John Cena is a G. Uh, I, I like John Cena a lot. And he can't stand Code Angle. I don't have a lot of opinions on any of the other uh, you know, wrestlers that much. But like anyway, uh, I hope that... I hope he just stops this shit. I hope... Stop capitulating to losers. Joe Rogan is not a racist. He doesn't hate black people. What a fucking mistake it was, like, like trying to compromise them. That is insane to say that. What the fuck? Who says this? That's crazy. I, I, I don't even understand. George, yeah, George Bush hates black people. No, it's George Bush doesn't care about black people. You know, I, I think I watched that live. Uh, it was very, very long. It's like 2005 or something like that. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta take a piss. But yeah, I, I hope that eventually he just realizes you know what fuck it and goes mask off i, I hope that's what happens because i feel i feel like if he does it's gonna be funny